Hi, welcome to another candy tasting video. This is part two of the American candy tasting series because I went to San Francisco. You can watch those videos in the link down in the description below. And also there's a part one, part one <laughs> of these candy tasting series videos, American candy, whatever, you get it, right? So we're going to start this one off with Cheetos. Yes, let's start off with a savory snack. Usually I'm not a fan of savory snacks, but Cheetos I love and also spicy, I love. I bought the regular Cheetos. This is a story. Well, I'll open it up, I will tell you. And this guy at the Converse store, he saw that and he was like, why didn't you buy the spicy ones? Because all the chicks eat those. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, yeah, you should buy the Cheetos spicy ones. So guys, if you have a date with a girl, like Netflix and chill, these are the ones you have to buy, unless she has sensitive intestines. Maybe you don't want to do that then. <laughs> okay, so they are, they look very different than the regular Cheetos. I guess they're still fluffy and also there's this red powder on them. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow, so <laughs> my Dutch came up. Wow, wow, wow. This is spicy. Wow, wow. This is really spicy. I'm not sure you want this as your Netflix and chill if you have a date because it's spicy, like spicy, like really spicy. I like the texture of the regular Cheetos more because those are more airy and fluffy. These are more crunchy, but I do really like the, the spiciness. I can see why it's addictive to keep eating this. Mm. <coughs> I would give these um, an eight because the flavor is good. I really like the spiciness, but I like the, the airy, fluffy texture, texture, texture of the original Cheetos more. I am so freaking excited to try these, but I'm going to save them for the end. Pumpkin pie Pop-Tarts. I never tried Pop-Tarts in my life. Something I was also very, very excited to try, candy corn, and this is um, mellow cream oat mix candy. I guess it has candy corn, so that's why I bought it basically. No, 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 no. Let me see. No, no, I don't want the pumpkin. I want the candy corn. Hmm. That's quite an anticlimax. Let me try another one, a brown one this time. I'm not a fan at all. It just tastes like sugar. We have similar candy in the Netherlands during our festive Santa Claus season. So it's, it's basically like sugar, but it has like fruit flavors and, and stuff. And this is just sugar. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I would give this a, a three. The next thing I'm going to try are snowballs. So chocolate cakes, coconut and marshmallow coated, cream filled. Americans, you do know how to stack on stack on stack on stack of flavors and textures. I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that creativity. They look so cute and pink. I hope they taste good. They are huge though. Your portion sizes are also something. No, it broke. Why? So it's a cake bottom. And on top of that, I guess you have the cream and then the marshmallow and the coconut. Okay, how am I gonna eat this? Okay, maybe like this. I don't think these flavors and textures match really well. Like somehow the coconut and the chocolate cake don't really match. I don't know why. Oh, maybe because I don't like Bounty. Maybe that's why. Where's the cream? There's not that much cream in it. Well, well there's the cream. <laughs> I think this would have worked better if the cake wasn't chocolate cake. So maybe like a light vanilla cake. Even though I'm usually a fan of chocolate, but I think it's just too much with everything. I really like the marshmallow and coconut combination and also like the, the different textures but all in all it's it's just too much I, I would not be able to finish this without getting nauseous so I would give it a two before we get to the pop tarts these are airheads bites fruit flavored yay 
now with white mystery yay white mystery flavor orange cherry blue raspberry melon watermelon watermelon let me see why 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 so hard how do i open this don't make me grab scissors like for real though come on I'm gonna have to grab scissors. But it's, it's it's a tough packaging, man. Okay. Let me see. They look like M&Ms. Okay, just a watermelon flavor, apparently. How is this airy? It's super chewy. It has the same texture as Mentos. Why do you call this candy airhead? I don't understand. I'm confused. The watermelon flavor is really good though. Mm, trying the cherry one. So good. Wow. Love the cherry flavor. Blueberry flavor. Mm, I don't know which one. Well, actually by now, blueberry is my favorite. It's so good. The white mystery flavor. I bet it's coconut or something. No, it's fruit. What is this fruit? It's quite an artificial fruit flavor. Maybe grape or something? Pineapple? I don't know. Guys, do you know what the mystery white flavor is? The blueberry? Wait. Oh, blue raspberry. Blue raspberry flavor. Well, that one's my favorite. And if I have to grade this candy, I would give it an 8. Because the flavors are really, really nice. And better than Mentos, to be fair. So... I like that. Let me know down in the comments below what the white mystery flavor is because I have no freaking idea. Time for the pop tarts! And of course, I have to put these in the microwave because you're supposed to eat them warm, right? Toaster pastries. I don't have a toaster. I do have a microwave. I tried pumpkin pie in the States. It was too sweet for me. I couldn't finish it. So, toaster, microwave. Place pastry on microwave safe plate. Heat on high for three seconds. Cool briefly before handling. Well, that's to that. I'll be right back. I'm back. And not to worry you, but there was a flash in the microwave. And I don't know what happened with this Pop-Tart. Is it safe to eat it? I will just try, but I will not heat any more Pop-Tarts in my microwave. Was I supposed to get it out of the packaging? Mmm, you're supposed to get it out of the packaging. This was dumb. Don't do that. Okay, so it's not warm. I'm, I'm just gonna try it like this. I like the idea of a Pop-Tart. We don't have anything like this in the Netherlands. Like pastry filled with something. We usually make our toasties. Or toasties, like we say it. It's grilled cheese, basically. But where's the pumpkin flavor? Mm, it's very subtle. I like it. Even though I think this is too sweet and too big for me to finish it, I would give it a 7. If you like this video, make sure to click that subscribe button because there's definitely going to be a part 3 and 4 and 5 of American candy tasting. When I was in San Fran, I bought so much candy. If you like this video, also please put a, th a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!